much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David. So this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you got to swing it back your way. We've got a timeout here as this coach is challenging the call. He wants to give the replay booth the chance to have another look. And how about the keen eyes and sharp awareness from the coach to challenge that call? And the officials agree it'll go his way. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. Touchdown, Tar Heels! And the pummeling has started. The Tar Heels putting their foot down as they start to pull away from the Cavs. North Carolina raising up, meeting the Cavaliers in this rivalry game and doing exactly what they want to do. Well, they're just making more plays, and they just seem like they are locked in. From the opening whistle, UNC has been the team ready to go. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They just finished off a 53-yard scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. Looking for daylight from inside his 20. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Virginia has it back. The Cavalier offense headed to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really. Fires into traffic. Intercepted. Taking it the other way. Inside the 10. Touchdown, North Carolina. A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? These guys can play offense, too, now. Look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. They'll try to follow that last touchdown with an onside kick. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. Well, great job by the hands team receiving there. They're able to spot the kick, fall on it, make sure they keep possession, secure it. Nice job. They're setting up the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. He'll keep it himself. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. So they'll send out the field goal unit. And he's going to have to get into this football. This is a 53-yard attempt. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And the field goal is good. They get three on the board, but it really doesn't matter much in terms of the deficit. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. On the move from inside is five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop of the 19. The North Carolina offense returns to the field. 
This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute, David. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. They'll throw it on first down. Gets it out fast. Not a lot the defense can do on that one, guys. With this tight end size, he's really difficult to defend on these crossing patterns as he gets downfield. The give to the back. The Tar Heels get enough to move the chain. You gotta have short area of quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Johnson wants to throw it. He's got it. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. And the Tar Heels come to the line with a new set of downs. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Under pressure, and down he goes at the 33. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. Trying to pound their way forward, he picks up a couple to the 31. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long. Touchdown, UNC! And the stomping has commenced. He has been surgical. Precision passes, using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. Here comes the two-point try. Here we go. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Into the end zone for the two-point conversion as they extend the lead to a drive there of 84 yards. And they top it off with a 31-yard toss for six. From inside the 20, chance for great field position. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. This should be the last play of the quarter. Grabbed over the middle. It's green. And they'll move the chains with the first down. That might be it for the third quarter. Guys, we've reached the end of the period, and North Carolina's on top. And they are starting to pull away as we come to the end of the third quarter. Let's take a look at how we got here. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Wants to throw. It's Calandria setting up the screen. He makes the stop, and a nice pickup there on first down. Leads him in second and manageable. He's looking to throw. Oh, so close to paying off the tip drill. He had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And, that's cool. and it's caught inside the 25. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. And the Cavaliers are moving quickly down the field. Give to Brown. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. It's been that kind of day for this offense, right? It seems like anything they're dialing up just simply isn't working. But at this point, David, I don't know if it's even worth trying to run the ball. Probably not. You're getting destroyed right now. Nothing has gone your way, and when you're down this much, I, I think the running game is used sporadically, not as a staple. Let's throw this football around and see what can happen. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of 
for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Cavaliers! Yeah, and listen, that, that is awesome to see the guys continue to fight, continue to keep competing because this game is over. Like, we don't need to fool y'all. We're not trying to get y'all to stick around and, and, and improve ratings. Like, the game's over, but you're continuing to fight. You're powered in for the touchdown. And show your kids that we're going to always fight no matter what the score is. And they pick up the extra point kicker knock you right down the middle. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Makes a move. Oh, what vision. He's going to get loose. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Tar Heels. The Cavaliers showing some... Wait, hold on. Send y'all bitches one. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to score again. They call it the gentleman's rivalry, Virginia does, and they're not treating North Carolina like gentlemen. They're taking care of business and winning this thing. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why, Reese. He's made good decisions, and he's been accurate throwing the football all game long. And the extra point was good to finish things off. That's the kind of play that energizes the entire team. 96 yards, he took it back for the touchdown. They're just about to boot it away full of energy after housing that last kickoff. Balls it in inside his 20, and here he comes. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Virginia sending its offense back onto the field, looking for a productive play on first down. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Getting some heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Yeah, and this offense has struggled all day. And how about the protection up front? you got to protect your quarterback. you got to keep him upright. And his second sack of the day. Nice. A lot more passing situations coming with this team down big. some of that yardage back from the 17. Looking to throw, it's Calandria. Quarterback on the move, still looking. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nor for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. Into double coverage, and he picked it off. Looking for more room. And he'll take this into the end zone, but hang on. Just <laughs> I this shit looks so easy. <laughs> so the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. First down here for the offense. Here we go. He wants to throw. Feeling some heat. Quickly out to the tight end. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. It's amazing how fluid and potent an offense can seem when you get a great pickup on first down and the tight end's a terrific place to go. Tight ends nowadays are kind of like cheat codes. I mean, they, they just know so much about right here. Seeing zone, no one to sit it down. Boom, positive yards, nice positive play for this offense. That last incomplete pass has him staring at a third and three. Fires to the right. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. The Cavaliers will send out the punt unit. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. And the returner will be knocked down. North Carolina has it back in the Tar Heels, so pleased to send the offense back out. Man, what a drive last time for the touchdown. That passing attack was lethal, David. 
Yeah, and you know you hear all these stupid commentators like me and Jesse talk about create balance in the run and pass. No, when you throw that good, spin the ball around. So the defense has to find a way to affect the quarterback on this drive because last drive he had way too much time to throw. Cranking up a drive like that can really get you going. It's first down from the 44. The handoff keeps working on that clock. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. From the gun, the running back has it. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. They're facing a third down. They'll try to run for it. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. I tell you, I love this offense going RPO on first, second, and third down at any point during the game because this quarterback does a really good job with his decision-making. He does a great job reading the defense, seeing the look, counting the box, and he's almost perfect on these decisions to hand the football off on RPOs. The quick out. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains, and he's got it up to 34. The Tar Heels will line it up on first and 10. Looking for a gap. It's Hampton. Got the first down and more. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. I think a big key in this team's success today has been their ability to run the football. They've been able to just hand it off and go churn out yards. They've had this defense on their heels all game long. It's given them a big cushion in this game so far. Let's see if they can keep it up. And they're going to put another one into the end zone as they just keep piling points on the scoreboard. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So it's an 80-yard drive. And the capper a 19-yard toss for the touchdown. After scoring that touchdown, they'll try to get it right back with an onside kick. He's able to grab the football, and the hands team gets the job done. Well, here in the fourth quarter, they were obviously expecting onside kick. They got their hands team on the field. They're able to jump on the ball and make sure they get possession. He'll start this drive firing. Catch in the middle. It's pace. And I know this football game is over, but we got to keep fighting. We got to keep finding something, some kind of rhythm in this offense, something we can hang our hat on that we do really, really well. Listen, the intermediate passing game like this has taken over. There's a live football. And the defense jumps on it, and they get that turnover. Everything broke down. The quarterback tried to bail them out, but he ended up making things worse when he fumbled. Yeah, I like the quarterback and his athleticism extending the play and at least giving himself a chance, but you got to finish. You still have to do a good job taking care of the football. That's priority number one. North Carolina! <laughs> Come on, and raise up. Take your shirt up. Just sit around your head, swinging like the hell. And now one of the most satisfying moments in football, just watching that clock drain away while you have control of the ball, Jesse. And this is definitely one of the best play callers, right, for an offensive coordinator. Getting ready to go into victory formation. So many good things happened today. It seemed like everything he was dialing today, David, ended up working out. No doubt. They put a lot of highlights together, put a great offensive game together, complete football game. They get the win. On to next week. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today. Though. they got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. Now they've got it at the 44 on first and 10. 
using his legs at Hampton. Bowls his way forward. And he'll be tackled, and that'll bring us to the end of the game. No matter how much college football changes, realignment, all of that kind of stuff, rivalries are consistent, and winning rivalry games, well, that's just the best. Because they hate each other so much, so you take the field against your rival, you're able to put forth a performance like that. That is worth its weight in gold, David. Unbelievable effort here by the winning team of Greg and Rice now. Bragging rights for a while. It's, it's a fun thing to be able to accomplish. Now we also got to take in the next couple games because this is always there's a letdown that naturally happens after these big rivalry wins. We feel like our chest is poked out. We got to look on to the next game, focus in on this next one. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.